。好，咁啊，啱啱嗰兩條呢，我哋都係用返雜交一到四嘅啫，終於去到雜交五啦。咁啊，題目就問返呢下面邊一個嘅陳述呢？對於雜交五啊，係正確嘅。咁雜交五有咩咁特別呢？雄性嘅親代係問號嚟嘅，哎呀，不知道喎。咁啊，雌性嘅親代呢，就係、是、紅色花。出到嚟嘅後代咧，有紅花有白花。咁呢個題目咧就係考翻我哋啦，有關於集合型同埋純合型基因型嘅概念啦，同埋考翻我哋啦，我點樣去預測翻、去估翻究竟親代嘅基因型咧？但係點樣估先？就係、是、透過後代嘅表現型啦，即係以前我教大家嘅無中生有大法啦。咁啊，根據返第十六條呢，我哋已經知得到㗎啦。白色花嘅等位基因唔係就係喺體驗式體上面嘅隱性等位基因。所以啦，白色花一定係世界世界 R， 而紅色花起碼有一個大街 R。而家好啦，我哋處理咗 female parent 先。喂，究竟呢個雌性嘅親代？咁由於佢係紅色花，即係話佢起碼有一個紅色花嘅等位基因，即係佢大街 R 啦。而由於啦，佢嘅後代呢。就有白色花、哦，喎。咁呢啲後代呢，都係從佢哋嘅父母親各自呢，都能夠收集到一個白色花嘅等位基因，亦即係話雌性嘅親代呢，佢一定係大細 R 啦，佢就係一個集合型嘅情況。而呢個雌性嘅親代呢，就會同花一隻紅性嘅親代，咁啊有雜交啦。出到嚟啦，啊，又有紅色，又有白色、哦，喎。所以你會發現啦，一個隱性嘅等位基因就由阿媽嗰邊嚟啦，而另一個隱性嘅等位基因呢，一定係阿爸嗰邊嚟啦，即係阿爸呢邊呢，照計就應該都有一個世界 R 嘅，咁啊睇下係啲咩嘅情況咯，咁啊做咗擊破咯，第一個佢就講啦，呢、這個雌性嘅親代呢。係一個純合子，即係話係大街大街 R， 唔好玩啦！啱啱先講完佢係大細街 A 嘅死 goodbye 啦，跟住去到 B 呢，佢就講咯，紅性親代呢，就係、是、純合子，但又係紅花嘅。咁啊，當中啦，你會發現啦，啊，如果佢純合紫紅花，咁出到嚟啦，即係大街大街 R， 成大世界 R， 又何來會出到啲白色花呢？即係又可以 say goodbye 啦。因為到 C 呢，佢就話呢個紅性親代呢，就係純合型，而係有白花嘅，似啦似啦，因為呢個呢，根本就係一個測交嘅情況。咁出到嚟落，咪又有紅又有白囉。咁所以 C 已經係答案啦。而 D 呢，就最神奇啦。佢話呢個紅性嘅親代呢，佢係集合型，但係有白色花。第一條已經同我哋講咗啦，白色花係隱性嘅特徵嚟嘅，所以啦，邊有可能係集合子呢？所以見到呢一句呢，都真係黑人問好咗嘅。咁所以啲呢，都係 say goodbye， 頂多有同學揀錯呢。都係見到，喂，白花喎、啊，白花喎、啊，即刻走去揀。但係，喂，你望一望呢隻字先啦。有陣時呢 d s c 嘅題目呢，都已經唔係考概念㗎啦，係考你小唔小心㗎啫。有啲同學真係揀咗啲，就係、是、因為唔小心睇錯字啦。咁啊，都係提返大家啦。過往呢，我哋係拍咗無中生有啦，同埋四部城市去教返點樣去答返基礎遺傳學嘅 M C 啦，同埋長題嘅。咁啊，快快手睇下片温阿書咯。On cross five, which of the following statements about cross five is correct? So this question, we use cross five. Male parent is unknown. Female parent, red flower, and for the offspring, some red and some bright. For this question, it's checking us the concept about the heterozygous and the homozygous genotype, and it also check us the skills about predicting parental genotypes based on the offspring phenotype. So based on the question sixteen, we know that the allele for the white flower is autosomal recessive. Therefore, for the white flower, it must be homozygous recessive. So before we think about the male parent, we think about the female parent first. It bears red flowers, so it means that it has at least one red flower allele. That means with the capital letter R. And then for the offspring with the white flower, homozygous recessive. It means that it must receive at least one white flower allele from both parents. So for the female, it also bears the small R allele, and then. Cross with the male parent. For the male parent, since they can produce red flower and the small small owl white flower, one small owl come from mother, one small owl come from father. So we have such concept first. So we go through the statement one by one. Female parent could be homozygous. No, no, no. 
It means that the female parent, the genotype is double picked out, but which is wrong because we have just proved that the female parent, it should be heterozygous. And then for option B, the male parent could be homozygous with red flower. So it means that what if the male parent is double picked out, no matter you use genetic diagram or not, you know that there should no be white flower. So it's also wrong. The male parent could be a homozygous with the white flower. So it means that it's small, small owl. Right? It makes sense. At least has one small owl. And then it's just like the test cross. And then there will be red and white flower produced. So option C is correct. And for the option D is the most don't know do what statement. But some students, they will still chose it. Male parent could be heterozygous with white flower. So really don't know do what. Because we know that for the white color allele, it is recessive allele. It means that if it is white flower, it must be homozygous recessive. How could it be heterozygous? So option D, also wrong. So I would like to grab this chance to recall that I have the out of nothing triangle video and the basic genetics scaffolding video to teach you how to answer the MC and the long question of basic genetics. So watch the video and do the revision.